this is week 74 and it's about the fourth at the 74th time I've tried to make this video this blank video um, something keeps on happening the phone keeps on ringing blah 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 it keeps on cutting out ah let's have this work okay guys let me get comfortable um, make myself all pretty for you they are pretty um, okay this is about transitioning and these are all pretty hard for me because my transition was such a long time ago and it how has your attitude towards your transition changed as a result of making that transition um, that's the first part that I'll answer and it is very like I said it's very hard for me to to answer that because um, my transition was um, 20, 30 years ago, you know, um, and there was no internet, no doctors that wanted to touch you. Um, they all thought we were mental cases and we should be in mental hospitals. There was the occasional doctor who would, for a lot of money, give you hormone treatments, but um, there was no one really taking us too seriously. And so basically I had to go on to the black market, buy hormones and just um, look after myself. Where today, of course it's changed. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, you've got, you've got clinics, you've got the internet, you know, it's, it's, the transition seems to be quite a journey now where back in the the you know dinosaur days when i did it it was just oh almost illegal i think i think um oh, it was oh it was don't get me started i could i could i could come up with all sorts of stories maybe one day i'll i'll sit down and put in a big blog about about you know you, you could be arrested for, for being in women's clothes you know if you didn't pass very well you could be arrested you know that's how that's how bad it was um, and also do you now think differently about transition yes because I think transition now is a lot easier and um, than what it was and you've got like you said you get your clinics and people to look after you and things like that and there's you know, gender identity disorder, there's double XY, you know, there's medical reasons for why we are like this. It's not all 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 a, a mental issue, you know, we're not we're not um, you know, sick in the head. And the final part which is quite interesting, um, of the question is transitioning ever finished? Um, to me, yes. To some people it never finishes. They always end up like they have their surgery, their SRS, and they um, seem to be in some sort of limbo because you spend all your life saving up the money, planning it, and then it happens and you go, oh my God, what now? Because I did go through a little bit of that. You go, what now? What do I do? Well, what do I do now? You know, until you sit back for a couple of weeks while, you, while you're healing and think, well, it's finished. It's finished. Oh my God, it's finished. And um, as most of you know, I had um, a facial surgery done. And um, a lot of people put that as down as a part of my transition, and it wasn't. Um, even though my doctor called it facial feminization because it was sculpting my, my brows, pulling my brows up and, and, and making my face more feminine, um, I just think it was too... I just think my, my face surgery, I don't think it was a part of my transition at all. I just think it was to make me feel um, a little bit more feminine and um, a lot younger. And I do look younger. I look, I look like 10 years younger. So um, so my surgery had nothing. My, my, my recent face surgery had absolutely nothing to do with my transition. My transition finished a long time ago. But I do know some people that don't seem to finish transitioning they just keep calling themselves trannies you know even after the surgery and they get stuck in there's 
there's the normal and the cross dresses and the transsexuals and all the wonderful, wonderful boxes that are out there. And they like to slam themselves into, I'm a tranny, I'm a tranny, I'm a tranny. And that's fine for them, but not for me. Um, I finished. Um, call me what you want. I don't care if, it, if they call me a tranny or a girl or a boy or a bloody what, but I'm finished. Whatever I've done, I've finished it. I can't go any further. <laughs> but my love affair with plastic surgery will always be. Okay, guys, um, that's it for this week. Take care and thank you, Steffi. Love you, girl, for coming up with this subject. Very interesting. And I shall see you next Tuesday. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.